Sawadi Krup and welcome to another Thailand News Today, start of a brand new week. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. We've got a lot of news to get through today, so let's get started. Seven new cases of COVID-19 in Thailand today. In all cases, the seven had come from overseas. Thais returning back to Thailand from abroad. Two were students returning from Pakistan, three were masseuse returning from the UAE, and the other was a Thai woman returning from the US. Today marks the second week with no cases of COVID-19 transmitted locally. The Thai government, however, says their current target is to reach a full two virus incubation periods, that's 28 days, with no cases spread locally until they feel secure in the country's lack of asymptomatic carriers. A high-ranking tourist police officer has landed the department's helicopter in the grounds of a temple in southern Thailand. The senior regional officer for the Tourism Police Bureau parked the helicopter inside the compound of the Wat Chedai in Sichon, a district in Nakhon Si Tamarat. The officer is going to be transferred to Tourist Police HQ after photos of the helicopter parked at the temple were posted on a Facebook page. The temple responded saying that the police officer was there to monitor safety and coronavirus prevention measures. It's unclear why he needed a helicopter for that and he couldn't have arrived by one of those, you know, those normal car things. The temple is highly revered by local people in the area. Clearly violating social distancing policies, fans packed a major cineplex at Siam Paragon in Bangkok on Friday to catch up with two popular Thai actors. The cinema was ordered to close for three days for breaking the coronavirus prevention rules, stipulating that cinemas would have to follow social distancing rules and wear face masks like all other businesses. The cinema was hosting a meet and greet with two actors to promote the new Thai drama End of Love. Photos of the event show hundreds of people crowded together with zero attention to social distancing. Meanwhile, at Bang San Beach, the mayor of Sansuk municipality in Chombri has posted a warning on his Facebook page saying that Banks and Beach could face another closure if tourists fail to comply with safety measures to curb the spread of COVID-19. The beach was reopened last Wednesday, closed the next day because of the hordes of crowds and reopened again on Friday. The mayor says if tourists continue to violate health measures, closures can be enforced once again. Or maybe the mayor should spend five minutes in Bangkok seeing what happens on the BTS and MRT any day of the week. And a craft beer delivery company has been fined 50,000 baht for violating the Thailand Alcohol Beverage Control Act. Posting on its Facebook page, Beervana says it wants to warn other companies and is also petitioning for the law to be abolished, claiming it's hurting businesses that are already struggling during the COVID-19 crisis. Under the Act, suppliers are forbidden from promoting particular brands of alcohol, posting branded bottles or glasses, giving alcohol away for free, issuing invitations to try a particular alcoholic product, or using celebrities to endorse alcohol brands. The Act has been around since 2008, but sporadically enforced. And the Finance Ministry is looking to give domestic tourists a 3,000 baht travel bank to spend on registered businesses and services. This time, the restaurants, hospitality options and attractions will need to register for the service, while the users won't need to register. They can't cash in the credit, just use it on goods and services with registered businesses. It's hoped the new scheme will help tourism-related businesses reopen and service some domestic tourism before the borders are reopened for international tourists sometime later. International borders remain closed to scheduled international flights and tourism until at least the start of July. And some other reopenings worth mentioning, certainly for the people in Phuket, the beaches will be reopening tomorrow. Let's hope the weather improves so they can get down and enjoy the beaches. And on June the 16th, the Phuket International Airport is uh, tipped to be opening. Certainly there are three airlines that are already selling tickets, at least from Phuket to Bangkok, from June the 16th on. 
That's all our news from Thailand News Today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow. Flash Thursdays is Thailand's very first fully online property sale event. Fazwas.com has brought together the largest range of new developments in Thailand's most popular markets. With limited stock and exclusive prices and huge discounts, you don't want to miss out. It's simple. Sit in the comfort of your own home on June 18th and all day long we will bring you the best discounts available. Secure the unit you want by paying the reservation fee online using your credit card. And if you don't purchase, we'll issue you a full refund. It's free to join, so register today.